Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Friday the 16th of August. The Prime Minister says the government won't take the Waitangi Tribunal's recommendation to scrap the Treaty Principles Bill. A scathing report from the tribunals labelled the bill to define treaty principles unfair and discriminatory. Act leader David Seymour, the bill's architect, has welcomed the contribution to a debate he says is needed. Chris Luxon says it won't be abandoned as there's a government commitment with Act to pursue it to the first reading. There will be different party positions around the issue. I acknowledge that it's a challenging issue. Uh, That has been uh, in my conversations with EWI leaders up and down the country. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says it makes sense for New Zealand to join part of the AUKUS deal. New Zealand has been eyeing Pillar 2 of the security pact between Australia, the UK and the US, which is about sharing advanced technology. Prime Minister Luxon met with Albanese in Canberra today, where the pair discussed stationing senior defence staff in each other's forces. Albanese says interoperability is a priority. We share very much common values and we share common objectives. It is not surprising that we'll look at any opportunity for including New Zealand in Pillar 2. The Public Service Association has dropped legal proceedings around Oranga Tamariki's job cuts. The agency is looking to cut a net 419 roles in the wake of the government's directive to trim the public sector. The PSA alleged the agency wasn't compliant with its collective agreement, but has now settled the issues. Police and the Auckland City Mission are continuing to hunt down donated meth-laced lollies. At least 16 families have been offered guidance on what to do next after discovering they have the lollies. News Talk ZB's Jacob Jones says Auckland City Missioner Helen Robinson says the incident has disrupted their food parcel programme. She says their food parcel service is still suspended but they hope to have it back up and running again on Monday. Two people have been injured, one seriously in a jet ski accident in Maraitai, east of Auckland. The accident happened shortly after one this afternoon. A new highway north of Auckland has been delayed from late 2026 to 2028 because of complications with a unique bridge design. The Pen Link, which will connect State Highway 1 north of Auckland to the Whanga Padawa Peninsula, is expected to cost more than $800 million. The bridge over the Waiti River has proven more complex to build than previously expected. The bridge's design can't be changed because the project is too far along. And New Zealand has a new Chief Human Rights Commissioner. Former Wellington City Councillor Dr Stephen Rainbow is a staunch advocate for LGBT rights. In sport, a star silver fern shooter Grace Wecky has signed with the New South Wales Swifts in Australia's 2025 Super Netball competition, meaning she will no longer be eligible to play for New Zealand from next year. All Blacks captain Adi Savia says they've owned their poor performance against Argentina in Wellington and are ready for the second rugby championship meeting with the Pumas tomorrow night. The Black Fern squad for the end of year tour to England and Canada has been named, featuring the return of winger Aisha Letiainga and co-captain and loose forward Kennedy Simon. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.